Hello there, Chartreuse here, bringing you my homebrew computer I just built. It is based off a Motorola 68K, it's going to be a bit hard to see there. There it is. It's a full 68K, not just the one that has the 8-bit data bus. This is the new build, so I have a reset circuit on here based off a 555 timer and an inverter circuit. And there's a push button reset as well, it also works on the power on. Now here we have our address decoder. Uh, get two couple gates here, an OR gate and another inverter, and that is used to decide if we're accessing the RAM or the ROM. Now we have 16K of RAM, that's just because of what I had, what I had lying around. And down in the ROM we have 128K on the left and 256 on the right, and I'm just ignoring the upper bits of that one, just the ones I could find. And we have an LED here on address 23. And that's just so I have some form of output, because I don't have any uh, mapped uh, output devices yet. And I'll actually show you the reset circuit and uh, chip select. So here is the address circuit. We see that we take the address strobe and A18 line. So when A18 is low and address strobe is low, when it goes low, and if we're reading, then we'll access the ROM. Otherwise, if A18 is high and we're reading, we'll access the RAM. So it gives a memory map like that, which is shadowed all the way across the address space. The reset is based off a circuit I found, uh, I'll show, have a link in the description, just using resistors and caps that I could find. It's based off of 555, so that delays about 270 milliseconds, I think it was, which is more than the 100 required. And then we use pull-ups through a uh, open collector inverter to drive the halt and reset lines. Now let's actually show you this working. I'm going to turn off my light here so you can see the LEDs because they're a little dim. And bring up the current. And you can see that LED comes on indicating the halt line is high, which means the processor is running. And it's a bit hard to see, but this LED is blinking fast, and that is being controlled by the assembly code I have loaded on the ROM. It's potentially driving the A18 in strobes. It goes up for a bit, down for a bit, up for a bit, down for a bit. And that is my computer at its current state. I'm gonna try and add some way of getting parallel I.O. Probably just use an Arduino and try and get it to work. This time, now that I know the RAM, the computer is working, I can actually check if the output works. Alright, have a good day.